My name is Derek May. We're hanging out on Professional Rock Stars. Dot com. Ray? Are you interviewing him? Yeah, I'm interviewing Teddy. I'm interviewing you. Derek Ray. Hey, how you doing, bro? How's it going? Dude, let's talk about dreams. Let's talk about, first and foremost, how is your European tour going of you uh, capturing all these wonderful interviews and sights and sounds of these clubs and festivals around the world? Uh, is this your first time in Serbia, too? No, I've been here before. Okay. So for you, it's your first time. My first time. So what's your impression of Serbian people, Serbian women, oh. okay, Serbian food, and this fucking festival? Okay. Uh, Boop! The fucking part. No, no, it's, we're internet. We can do it all. Motherfucker. <laughs> Come on. Uh, the women... Oh, wow, yeah. beautiful. Oh. Uh, American girls are whack compared to these chicks, right? No, no silicone anywhere. No. Natural, beautiful yeah, yeah. women. Very nice. Amazing, yeah. amazing. Uh, wish I spoke the language. And I enjoy the fact that it it's not about that. But you speak love. Yeah, totally. How's the food? Uh, terrible. Then obviously you're not eating in the right place because no, this food is the shit. Really? You, gotta, you need to go out I've to had, eat. I've had bad food experiences. When are you leaving? Uh, uh, to two o'clock. <laughs> oh man, that's too bad. I get to experience the food. Jesus, man, experience. the food is amazing here. Yeah. The people are cool. Okay, uh, the, the people are definitely cool. All the right. people have been amazing, except the cab drivers. They play it like every every city I go to. Cab drivers suck. Well, that's why you got. You know what you need? A pen and paper. Write down the quote. Bam. Say this is what I'm gonna pay, and get in the fucking car and go. Yeah. Well, that's well, it. I, I'm that's good. how I play. I, it. I mean, I'm in New York, so I'm used to fighting with them anyway. In New York is so different. I got. New I got. Well, no, but my game's been working good. <laughs> but see, in New York, you just can take the dude's number off the taxi. And, and just report his yeah, ass no, in one no, minute. No, but, but I know when they're going the wrong way and trying to do that. Side true shit, that. True that. Like, no, I don't. We'll play see Serbia. Like that, this is know? Serbia, so that's another story. Okay, yeah, festival yeah. exit. How? You, what do you think of it? Woof. Okay. Impressive. Oh, dude, the layout. Yeah. Have yeah. you done Coachella? Oh uh, yeah, I, have. I did. The, I did the very first one. Oh okay. I cool. played for Tom. Uh, um, the the that Coachella festival and this the lineup, the labyrinth of how they have it set up, ten to ten to ten, and how they have all the time slots. Everyone knows where they're going. Yeah. They have the booklets of when everyone's playing, the information about the new yeah. artists, so who knows who you get to find out a little bit about it. And if you want to check it out, you can go check it out. You know, we, when we produced the festival uh, in Detroit, Movement, we, we tried to lock in and do it. No, we didn't try to copy anybody, but we did take into mind that these people do a great job. Yeah. Now, this is the first time we've done exit. I've done exit. I've been to Serbia before, but, right. but there's an example here that all need to look at. I mean, Belgium, they produce amazing festivals. In Holland, amazing festivals, as you'll see when you hit Dance Valley and check right. out the other events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys, they know what they're doing. They're festival pro 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 professional promoters. Yo, I interviewed him, uh, Boyan. The, oh, yeah. And he's only 26. Yeah, well, he's on his so, shit. He's yeah. on his shit, though. He's on his shit. Yeah. He's got a great team. It's the team. Did you know about the embezzlement and all that? I knew a little bit, but you know that. You know, it's it's it, unbelievable. It was um, it, the, the, the political stand that this has, you know, like... To, to, like, we, we have so much freedom where we are. We well, are, we think and, we do. Well, and, and I understand. Well, okay, that too. Yeah. But compared to right. what I'm seeing right. here, right. I'm like, even even with the internet, like only because of this festival, are they on high speed access right now? Right. Do everyone else I'm talking to, they're like, they're uh, locked down they, on some dial up. Nothing. Yeah. They're, dial they're up. like two years behind. Yeah. yeah. And like I was explaining to people like about MySpace, and they were, she was like, a girl, a, a performer was like, well, how do I get my music out? And they're yeah. like, what do you think about like the record labels? And I was like, well, record labels are like whatever. The internet. That is everybody's getting their out. music is diversified right. more now yeah. because of the internet. But you have a you can get your people your music out to anybody just by clicking buttons. Hi, hi, hi. But hi. you do know that MySpace is only in English. You cannot get MySpace in any other language. And oh, I, I didn't know that. Rupert Murdoch has made that, it has all sorts of other countries on it. Rupert Murdoch has made this shit so that it's only in English. Can you change that. It was, I don't know why or how, but I have... I've had people from China contact me. People contact you, but their shit is in English, too. They're just popping on the website and, and signing up. But it is not in other languages. And so unless that, they speak English, then they can't... Yeah, in Japan... Uh, I'm, it, use it. Right. Wow. Yeah, you've wow. got to be... You gotta, it's an English-speaking, using website. It is not a multi-bilingual, you know, international thing. Oh, I didn't realize that. No, I and that's unfortunate, that yeah. yeah. So totally. these people don't know about it because if they're not hitting on to, to English-speaking websites... They'll never find out about it. Well, and you know that's actually what's been interesting about this company that I'm working for is that they've been taking me all over the world so that we can show whoever is on the internet out there can find, click in a name, and it'll connect. Right, and then once they go on the site, you know, your name, or then from there they see the homepage and they go, yeah. oh, I can go to Trinidad, I can right. go to right. to England, you know, like. We're just taking it, you know, especially come out in America. There's no backing with the electric dance music no, man. at all. Mm -mm. So we're 
that's why I'm, that's why we're sitting here so that we can have people's the, all those bedroom kids the fans we have fans check this out I play <laughs> I played of all places in America which really blew my mind I played Dallas uh huh I was I, there last year I expected Dallas to be shit because I mean I just first of all it's Bush country number one number mm -hmm. two. I just don't imagine America to have a scene, and especially not to be coming from Dallas, Texas. Right. That motherfucker was rocking. Right. And then I went to L.A., and it was flat, but it wasn't because of, uh, of, a, of a valiant effort from the promoter. Mm -hmm. It just is a scene. It's just, it's just flat. I was in New York. It was very disappointing. Uh, <clears throat> America in, in a whole, man, is just not happening. It's got a lot to do with the fact that <clears throat> the scene has been oversaturated with a bunch of overrated, overhyped bullshit DJs. Yeah. These clubs, clubs spend too much money on DJs and talent. Well, they, it wasn't worth the it. Ante. They blew their own minds. They, the, they, they fucked up, <laughs> and, and, and they had to close. They had right. to, they, so the club scene more or less bought itself out. It was almost like the stock market, you know? Mm -hmm. Everybody got happy because the doors were full and they could charge what they wanted. Oh, well, you know, and in New York, you want to you bypass everybody online? Oh, $1,000 for a table. Yeah, I don't like crowbar yeah, bullshit, you know? <laughs> That's ridiculous. You know, so I mean, at, at the moment, America has nothing to offer the club scene. Here no. you are. You're sitting in Serbia. We're rocking the house. Jeff right. Mills just played. I played before him. Technasia's on right now. It's 25,000 people in one fucking stage. Yep. That shit is out of control. Yeah, we've been there for all three out days. Of of out of control. Yeah, out of control. Out of control. We have so much footage to show all of them. Yeah. Oh, it's great. I can't. I'm. I'm. And now I got two more to go. So I'm just like. Impressive. It's, it's yeah. We're lucky. Yeah. Well, lucky is not the word. Actually, well, what you fortunate, are. Fortunate. However, no, what you, know. you know. No, no. <laughs> what you are is you are informed. Ah. You are informed. And you are about to use that shit to your advantage. No, but you know, but 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 that's why it, lucky, fortunate. You know, like. Um, we, we, we are able to open we're willing to take the journey where so many people come on look at how many people we know that don't leave right I don't, you know I know people that never left Brooklyn or Long Island what they haven't even gotten into the city some people look at the sponsors they got man I mean like you never see this kind of this kind of like this is like they got the post they got the post office involved you know they've got Renault I mean they've got the beer companies involved they've got some sort of telecom company involved here They've got you know, now, you know what, what looks like a sports company or a sporting company of some sort. There's government. This, this is radio. That's that's yeah. Here's the government functions involved. You know, here's MTV. Visa. Look, Visa. I you see that. Like, you know, <laughs> I mean, I mean, when I put the festival together in Detroit, man, we were fighting so hard to get a goddamn sponsor, and right. we had to try to prove our, to, to these people what we do and how we do it. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. The people that are running the corporations in America that make the decisions for young people are absolutely whack. Well, no, they're, and they're also hypocrites because the same companies they're working for are backing it here. And they know it, and that's bullshit. There is no youth marketing in America. There is no designed youth marketing analysis done. Nobody works for a division called youth marketing. Right. And that's what's missing in America. You, know, and you got some 52-year-old guy, 55-year-old guy sitting up thinking he knows what's cool for 21-year-old, for, for 15-year-old kids. Sure. And you know, when in Miami I was interviewing everybody talking about how it's, it's again with them being hi hypocrites is that it's in all the movies, all soundtracks, video games, you know, you're hearing beats everywhere. Electronic music is everywhere and it still isn't getting the push that it should be. You know, right. what, once a year at Ultra? Okay, it's great. Global Gathering did a good job too. That was nice. I mean, I love Coachella for the fact that, that there's no advertising for anything anywhere. I mean, that's just Paul Tolle is a, Paul Tolle is, a, is 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 amazing guy. He's a really nice person. And he's an amazing guy for what he does, and he tries to do a sponsor free, you know. And that's got a lot to do with his own own advantages. Yeah. But for those who don't have those advantages, it's very difficult. And the government didn't help with all the squishing that they've done on the whole. No. On the Ray Vac, give me a break. Right. Yeah. When I was in New Orleans, I had a costume made out of fiber optic light, and they banned me from performing. Oh, I don't want to hear it anymore. <laughs> I, I don't like, want to hear it anymore. I was like, Are you kidding? But I was able to do my fire show. Okay. You know? <laughs>